Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm back with my new hair. Since my color is spoiled, so I decided to try out something new. And from the title, as you can see, I'll be talking about different mini bags from different price range. I know mini bags are so cute and adorable, and some of you guys might be thinking of getting it and wondering what it can fit and whether mini bags are worth the hype and money. So in this video, I'll show you guys in detail about the bag benefits and downside of each bag. Trust me, there's downside to every bag. So do watch to the end so that it can help you make your judgement about getting a mini bag better. And yeah, something exciting is coming out as well since my birthday is in November. So I'm thinking of getting either the LV Alma BB bag or YSL bag. So do let me know which one you would recommend more as well in the comment section and why or why not. So yeah, so we're gonna start off with my most recent purchase which you guys can see from my I think recent Kenzo mini bag video. So this is the Kenzo mini combo California bag. So this is their mini bag and the size itself is really cute and it's much bigger in size as a mini bag compared to the other mini bags that I'm about to review. So it comes with this um, zipper here and here so you can put like your small coin or your small token of affection <laughs> from your friends and then you open it up. It actually comes in this. So it has like a few compartments here which you can put your cards or money or card holder or anything. And then here there's more compartment on the other side to put like extra cards or notes that you want to separate. So it's really neat and quite nice. And in the middle there's lots of space. So roughly you can put about your iPhone, your like makeup pouch and notepad and a pen. So it's really huge in size and really great as a mini bag since you can fit in so much. And then at the back, you have another compartment which is the zipper area so you can put your card holder money or change that you got from vendors or anywhere you buy stuff so it's really nice. So I'm going to show you the length now. So it actually comes with a shoulder strap but the downside is that it's not adjustable so it's just a one length fits all kind. So yeah, for me I'm actually 163cm so it fits about roughly here, I'll show you guys now. So it fits about right here, I think right above my leg area uh, when you wear it cross body So when you wear it at the side, it actually looks like this So it's actually quite long for a mini bag Because personally for a mini bag, I would prefer it to be around here But nevertheless, it's great Just one major downside to this will be the material itself I don't know why, but colours actually get transferred with this bag quite easily So. There's this one time when I was touching my lipstick and I accidentally touched my bag after and it actually leave a stain. So just be mindful about it and bring a wet tissue around if you plan to get this bag because if you wipe it off immediately, actually, actually it does come off, I think. But it does leave some mark on transference like this when you use it for a while so you have like the opening and closing mark over here. And maybe here when you... Oops! <laughs> When you place item on the T surfaces, it actually leave like one or two scratches over here. But overall, if you are a very clean person and very mindful of where you place your bag, I think this will be a great addition to your mini bag collection because the size is just right and it looks cute. So why not? I will actually rate it for about um 8 or 8.5 over time. The 1.5 or 2 it actually comes from the downside of the scratches and stuff. But it's cute, so yeah. Let's move on. Next up, I'll be talking about another bag that I mentioned in my Victoria's Secret bag collection video briefly. So this one I'll go like get into detail so you guys can get a better idea of what you guys are getting into. So this is the Victoria's Secret Times Balmia collection. So it's limited edition when it just came out. So I was like, when I saw this, I had to get it because it's so bling bling and so me, I feel. So the size itself is much smaller compared to the Kenzo bag. So it can fit a little bit lesser. I'll show you guys inside right now. So it actually comes in this. It's a bit dirty inside but it's much tighter compared to the Kenzo bag because inside you can only fit a little amount. So there's a small like card holder area. Mostly can fit about like um, your wallet and probably your phone and one foundation stick or one concealer or one BB cushion. It's not together, it's all. So it's really small in size. And at the back, that's the area where you can keep your money and all. But the downside is that it doesn't come with a zipper. So you have to be mindful when you bring it out because you might lose your money if you're not careful. 
um, and the straps itself actually comes in this so it's adjustable strap that's a bonus point so you can adjust it according to the size you want you can want it longer or shorter depending on your height so I'll show you guys the size I adjust are like this size and when you wear it it's about here which is cute this is like the perfect mini back height range for me I felt and then when you wear it like that so it actually looks like this so it's really cute and all but then there's also a downside to this because so if you look carefully the reason why I got in this bag for when I first saw it is because of the bling bling and it's really cute and all but then the downside is because when it actually caught on to my clothes or maybe someone else's um, clothes outside the bling bling actually comes off so it is left with bits and pieces of that so it's not really nice when you see it near like this you can see that there's a lot of missing pieces over here and here and here so maybe I feel like it doesn't really worth the money range that you paid for the quality it doesn't match up with the price range I felt and but if you look at it from like you see from afar you actually won't notice anything that's different in this bag but if you are really into detail then maybe this bag is not for you because actually it will actually fall off if you are not being careful and it just fall off and everything will be gone one day soon so i don't really use it often now but the color and design itself is really cute and yeah i will rate it for about 6.5 over 10 or 6 because of that so yeah let's move on lastly i'll be talking about charles and keith so all the mini bags are from different price range so you guys can get an idea of how different price range mini bag fare and what's your favorite so this one is actually a gift from my friend it's about like one or two years since i had it but i don't really use it often because it's a bit small in size but it's really cute as well so that's how you open it up that's the part that I really like, the marble part. I think it's really cute and minimalistic. And then when you open up, so the size itself is much smaller, but there's a card compartment and there's a zipper area for the coin as well. Even though it's small in size, it's really like packed with different compartments, so it's really great for use, I would say. And then inside, you can probably put about like a BB cushion and your money and maybe a lipstick or one lipstick or two lipstick depending on how you feel it but I've worn it just can't fit inside so it's really cute and the range is I think this is the most mini one among all the mini bag that I just mentioned and at the back she comes with a card area for you to put your card holder like bank card or something so it can make your purchase easier so the straps itself is actually comes in this adjustable strap as well so you can adjust it according to your liking, I think this is great and then when you wear it, it actually looks like this so it's about the same height as the Victoria's Secret and Pell Mel one so it's really cute and it's really mini as you can see and then when you wear it at the side, it actually looks like this so yeah, it's really cute, it's the perfect height but one downside to this will be that actually it gets transferred over for like all the dust or dirty things so this has this is something to be mindful about if you want to get this bag just have to be extra clean and I don't think it actually comes off easily now unless I send it to like a bag oh no oops, a bag butler to get it clean up so yeah it's really cute and yeah it's a great gift for my friend and I don't use it often now but it's still great as a collection so thank you for watching it till the end I hope you guys enjoy the video let me know which one is your favorite one Kenzo two Victoria's Secret and Belmont or three Charles and Keith so I'll see you guys next time. Bye!